Well, we slept in until two o'clock and we really needed it. We're super tired. We're just checking out of the hotel. We're here in Albany. So I think we might do a little bit of shopping um, on the way, you know, while we're here. Um, anyway, I think we're gonna do some shopping. At Trader Joe's. This, they're always so busy. They've hired a parking lot attendant guy to help with traffic. It's so busy. But I'm just gonna pick up a few things. You gotta love Trader Joe's flowers. They're priced so good. I just got a few little things to kind of get us through the week. We're literally packed in. <laughs> we have all the suitcases and the, I got two bags of groceries and then the flowers. So we're packed in. <laughs> That's all the shopping we can do. They got the snow plows out. And the roads are really icy. We're almost home though. Not too much further. Look how big my paper whites are getting just in the time that we were gone. I planted them like, I don't know, like just before we left. Our Trader Joe's haul consisted of some fresh flowers. And then I just picked up some veggies because um, we've been gone on vacation and just to make it through this next week. Brussels sprouts, some green beans, fresh peas. These artichokes look so good. I got some basil, because I want to make some pesto, garlic, baby spinach, and some salad uh, greens. Tomatoes, a cucumber, dried cranberries, bananas. Ken picked up a couple of his sausages. I got some salmon. And then, as far as dairy, whipped cream, half and half. Ken found this, Cabot uh, whipped cream. I've never used that before. As far as seasonal items, we did get these peppermint pretzel slims and the peppermint joes, sea salt caramels, and I got some lady fingers. I thought I might make a tiramisu um, over the holidays. So that was our Trader Joe's haul. All my flowers uh, conditioning in some water that I put uh, flower food in it last night when we got home from the airport. This bowl and this vase that I want to arrange, the first thing I'm going to do is uh, get the foam ready for this bowl. And what I've done is I've taken two of the flower foams and I've placed them up here and pressed it down so I have like the general shape. And this bowl kind of flares out. So when I cut the foam, I'm gonna cut it about here and then flare it out and see how that fits. So I'm just gonna start cutting. It doesn't have to be perfect. Actually, that's gonna be pretty good. And I can fit in here with some of these other pieces if I choose to. All right, I'm gonna get this in water. I have my sink filled with water. We have well water. So if you're on city water that has chlorine added, you might wanna let the, uh, the water sit for a couple of days so that the water can get rid of the chlorine. When you put your foam in here, you don't want to push it down because what will happen is it will cause an air pocket in there. You just want it to sink to the bottom on its own so that the foam is saturated. The next thing you want to do is just tape the foam. And I have some clear floral tape. A 
just gonna tape it to the top of the bowl. That way your floral foam won't uh, tip out. I just added water to the container. And I'm just gonna add a packet of flour food. So our flowers stay fresher longer. I'm just gonna start by placing my roses where I want them. And when I cut, I'm gonna cut at an angle, like that. I'm gonna put my first rose right in the middle, and then I'm just gonna shape it to get the general shape that I want. I don't want it to be too big. And when you have some low-lying leaves, you want to pull those off. I'm going to cut these a little shorter. I'm going to place these kind of at an angle here. I'm going to start making the shape here. So I'm going to cut the next rows. Gonna position it so I get the shape I want. Now I'm gonna turn this and I'm gonna do the same thing here. Placing this rose and one more. So now we have a general shape. I'm going to put a couple of more roses here. They're going to be shorter. And I'm going to kind of put them at an angle like this. So they're kind of coming out. Let me change the shape here. See how it kind of comes out and gives that shape? And that's going to be our desired shape when we get done. more Trader Joe's has such you know wonderful flowers this is something you could do for the holidays and save a lot of money and if you mess up it's no big deal just take the flower out and restick it in all right now I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to around this top one, I'm just going to make like a little triangle and put three more to kind of fill in a little more here. And that'll give us an even dozen. So I'm just going to pick a random spot. Kind of put one there. one here and the last one we'll put here so now our our arrangement has a nice shape 
And I'm gonna start filling in with the secondary flowers. Now I'm just gonna start placing in some greens and secondary flowers around, just kind of randomly putting them. Start filling everything in. And like I said, you can't make a mistake because if you don't like it, just take it out and redo it. Well, I'm going to work on getting some of these greens and flowers in here. with the lilies you want to take this off because this will stain uh, clothing like wedding dresses and stuff like that so I'm gonna take those off of the lilies you guys are getting the idea I'm just gonna fill in a little bit more with some greenery and some secondary flowers and then this one will be done it's super easy So I'm pretty happy with the um, flower arrangement. And over the next couple of days, the flowers are gonna open up and it's gonna get even prettier. So it's so simple. This is something um, I just wanted to show you guys because anybody can do it. Now I just wanna mention that the floral foam is not the kind of foam that you put um, silk flower arrangements. The floral foam is made specific for fresh flowers. I'm getting my vase ready. I have water and the flower food. Now there's a couple ways you can do it. You can just arrange a bouquet and just stick it in there. Or you can also use the tape to make like a grid across here and it's helpful to kind of place your flowers. But today I'm just gonna put them together. All right, I'm just gonna start by taking some greens. I have some white roses. I have some lilies, I have some red roses, and I'm just going to start putting together um, my bouquet and just kind of see what I like. And just keep adding to it a little as I go. And then at the end, I'll go ahead and trim the bottom of the stems. Just keep turning it around, adding things. You kind of want to do it like where it's rounded. I think that looks nice. Doesn't have to be perfect at all. I like the screen in here. What else do we have? Oh, we have some of this. Look at that. Just wanted a bunch of different colors and textures. I think it looks better. Put that in there. Maybe I'll do it together. Lilies. I love lilies. Okay, I'm gonna fix this one. I'm gonna cut it off. That way I can have the lily kind of high. It's, it'll be pretty when it opens. All right, a little more green, I think. Some more red over here. And you just keep going around and around until you don't have any flowers left. All right, I'm gonna work on this and be back in a minute. Now I'm just going to cut the ends um, using my floral scissors, kind of do it at an angle. I 
That way you can, you know, soak up the water easier. It's more of a surface area. It's a clean cut. All right, I'm gonna get these into the vase. That's all there is to it. Um, you, one thing, you don't want any leaves below the water line, so if you have any leaves on the stems, take those off because it'll make the flowers last longer. And all of these, like, lilies and whatever, the flowers are just going to open up over the next couple of days. It's going to be pretty. I like to do them like two or three days out from when I want them to be at their optimum. So there's some simple things you guys could do for the holidays.